What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zay back with another video. Yep, still at the park, still filming. See so again, these videos out for y'all, man. Just, just take some time now, just taking the energy, man. Breathe. It was good to be alive, man. Just grateful, you know. You can wake up today that you have a house to live in, that you have a vehicle you can drive to work where you can actually go to a workplace where you actually can make money even if you hate that workplace. Um, that you have family, you know, that, you know, loves you and can speak back to you, you know. Um, it's just grateful. To just live life and just, you know, never take memories for granted. But, you know, I want to appreciate all the support. Um, like I told y'all that condenser mic is coming, so... Make sure y'all stay tuned. It won't probably be until another couple videos because I'm gonna drop these videos and then y'all are gonna see the difference. And I'll let y'all know the difference um, when I have the condenser mic on and when I have it off. I'll let y'all know in the next, that future video that I use condenser mic um, when I'm gonna use it so you guys can match, see the difference between the audio and everything. But um, God is saying, that you need to take more risk. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you've been staying stagnant a little bit too long. You've been chilling too long. You've been watching too much TV. You, you, you're you scrolling on social media, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? You in the drama, you... You have to understand that, you know what I'm saying? Staying stagnant is not gonna get you nowhere, you know? Keeps you in that same mindset, not only then, but you're making a pattern in your subconscious mind that you're staying stagnant. So even if you wanna change, the force might be so strong that you can't even change if you want to. It takes, it's gonna take a lot of discipline. It's gonna take a lot of hard work. And I tell you guys this all the time, you're not gonna see immediate results what you do on a day-to-day -day basis has progression, even if you don't see it or not. If you're taking your time out to run one mile a day, and you feel me, you don't see no progression as you can't run farther, then keep doing that mile for about three weeks and you're gonna understand that you can run 1.5 miles because you got so used to the one mile. You see where I'm going with this? You guys have to learn that repetition holds everything. Repetition is the key to the universe. You do something frequently over and over and it becomes your reality. That's the same thing with your thoughts. But you have to understand that you gotta take more risks. You stand too stagnant. You know, what is what is holding you back from doing what you gotta do? You know what I'm saying? Like, you wanna create this huge YouTube channel. You wanna open up this business. You wanna promote your stuff. What is holding you back from doing this, you know? Is it the opinions of other people? Because I'll tell you right now, that doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? People are gonna do what they do and you're gonna have to do what you do. Um, you know, we all go through different things in life. So don't feel ashamed or anything to, or scared to do anything that your heart tells you to. But you need to take more risk. You stand too comfortable too long. This is this is not going to be good because, like I told y'all, repetition. If you stand stagnant too long, then that becomes your reality. So you have to understand that take more risks. If you want to start a diet, you know, write a plan and write it in your notebook. You know what I'm saying? Take the biggest risk because the biggest risk got the biggest rewards. You know, if you simply live an easy life then you're not gonna progress and you're not gonna get nowhere. Why? Because you choosing the easy route. You you think we all wanna just have an easy route, just wake up, live in a nice house, drive a nice car and everything. Yes, but sadly, that's not the reality. The reality is that you gotta grind. You gotta discipline yourself because we've been indoctrinated into this matrix to understand, oh, this is how you have to do this. Um, certain people telling us how to do that. Our family members is telling us, oh, this is what our, our grandparents did. This is what my mom did. Like, break the cycle. Understand, you gotta take risks. You, you can't stay stagnant. This is not the time to just watch TV all day. 
get out. If you want to start a diet, start that diet. You know, if you don't do it for no one else, but do it for yourself. Because as soon as you start doing it for everyone else, you're going to start to develop those opinions or beliefs. If you know that you true hardly doing it for yourself, you're going you're gonna to do any means possible to get it done. But if you worry about, oh, I'm worried about what they're going to say about me or what they're going to do. You can't because people going they going to live their life and you going to live your life. You see, the you fear. Fear is what's holding you back. False evidence appearing real, you know. Um, you create your fear, you know. When you start going at fear full force, then you become the master of your mind. You're no longer a fit. You're not longer a slave to the environment. You know, you're not longer a slave to your mind. You enfrage yourself because you're doing things that put you in an uncomfortable situation. But what is that doing over time? When you when you do uncomfortable situations and everything, it makes you stronger. And then when you're faced with another one, guess what? It's normal because every time that you fear something, you went at it. You know what I'm saying? Create that YouTube. Go for that run. Create that business. Start a new diet. Start a new lifestyle. You know? Stop smoking weed. Just, you know, do it for you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, ain't nobody going to wait for you. And the only person that's going to wait for you is you. You know? You the one in this body. You the one that got to put in the work. You know? At the end of the day, people can give you, the, someone can give you the master secret recipe to success. But if you don't put in that work, if you don't put in that time, that grind, then you're not going to get there. And never accept things that's handed down to you. Take it with a grain of salt and further your knowledge from your existence. Don't just say, oh, Sarah said this, Greg said this, so I'm going to do it. No, take it with your own perspective and say, okay, let me put my loop around it and see what's really going on. Because they probably got that information misled by someone else and they, that person got it from somebody else. And that person got it from Wikipedia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to trust yourself. Take more risk. God is saying take more risk. You know? He's saying if you take these risks right here, your life is going to change dramatically. I can bring you your dream job. I can, I can show you your life purpose. I can show you what you're supposed to be doing here on earth right now. But you got to allow me to guide you. You know, taking risks are risky. But they hold big reward. Because like I told y'all, repetition holds everything. So when you're able to conquer your mind and say, okay, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the gym today. But you watch Netflix all day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to go to the gym at 2 p.m. Then 2 p.m. fly around. And you still watching your favorite show on Netflix. You gotta know when to cut things off and get to work. And the more you start to see progress, the more you gonna start to leave your old habits behind. You gonna start to separate yourself from people that has those same habits that you did have because it's gonna make you go back if you're not strong enough. See, if your mind is not strong enough, you gonna fall back into temptation, you gonna fall back into sin. Learn to know the people you around and get out your comfort zone. Limit, make a schedule where you only watch TV for three hours a day. That you work out, that you read, that you meditate. You know what I'm saying? Start to make, doesn't matter what you do, as long as you do it for a decent amount of time and eventually it will become normalized into a regular habit. You know, you don't have to do all this stuff at once. You don't have to just do one thing at a time. If it's running, you can't run a mile, run 0.5, you know what I'm saying, walking, and then once you get comfortable running, you know what I'm saying, that's the whole, that's the whole point, is to go after things that you're scared of, go after things that you know you're going to fail in, because this is what's going to make you the greater version of yourself, you have to understand that of course the ego wants to stay comfortable, wants to stay in that same place, but you have to understand that you're not going to get nowhere doing that. You know, you got to open your hand and take those chances, man. That's just life for you. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, 
Dang, I wish I could zoom in, but y'all see the ducks flying. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, man. Nature, man, you, you just can't get enough of it because this is this is who we are, man. This is where we come from. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Um, peace and love to all y'all. We're going through a rough time. It's not going to stay long. It's temporary. You have to fight through it. Have faith. Remember to have gratitude because gratitude is what brings you opportunity. It brings you the flow of divine magic. You know what I'm saying? Be grateful for what you have now. You'll be blessed later. Um, and your future endeavors, everything, you'll be blessed. So keep that mindset. Be grateful. You know, there's a lot of people in the world that's going through a way tougher time than you are, and you complain about something so simple. You know, take some time out to take some risks so you can grow. Separate yourself from other people who are not on the same path as you. Obviously, you're on a different path for a reason. So you're not supposed to be following the crowd. You're supposed to just be following yourself. Understand that, and then your life is going to change drastically. Peace and love. We out. See y'all next video.